Okay, now you're going to go into um, where it says go. Go to your applications. And then you're going to find Affinity Photo. And click on that. Uh, click on this right here so it starts to run. It takes a little while. Okay, here, now I'm going to click out of this. Affinity Photo showed up here. Then you're going to go to File and New. And leave this part of the page alone. Put 5 by 7 here. The largest you can go is um, 8 by 10, obviously, for printing. Uh, but right now, just stick to 5 by 7. When you save things, it takes up less memory, and you still get the experience of doing stuff in Affinity Photo. Uh, DPI, leave at 300. So this is the only area you um, do things with. So 5 by 7, 300. And if you want a screen that changes so that you do 7 by 5, that's another possibility. It just depends on what we're working on. So um, let's go with 7 by 5 this time. Click OK. Now, the next thing that you want to do is go over here, click on your paintbrush tool. I'm holding the mouse down. I click on the paintbrush tool. I notice up here width says 25. I want to get this down to about seven, 5, 6, or 7. Just go with um, 6 for now. Then your colors you are picking here. This is select, black is selected. So if I go all the way around like that, I'm going to just put it, click off of that. Just get it off the screen. Okay, so this is, if I want to change this color, I can go over here. And the next time I draw, it's going to be like this. So you pick your colors from here. So make some shapes. Then what you're going to do is go over to, um, it will go keep going up here. Go above the paintbrush. See this paint bucket tool? Um, I have to click. This has to be in the front. If I want to fill that in, I can do that on all three. If I want to change, I can go like this and change things um, without doing any erasing. So basically, that's what you need to do here is take your paintbrush, draw shapes, and go back and use the paint bucket tool and fill them in. Um, I'm going to go to delete on my keyboard and now I'm going to start again and this first experiment with your shapes if you want to start this project right away with the thinking process of how am I going to do design I'm going to go over here to the paintbrush and I'm going to pick my black I can pick any color or you can pick any color and I'm going to go to the right side or the left I'm not ever going to go in the middle because I'm making an asymmetrical project. I want to have something that is larger on either the right side or left side. Click that off. And I'm going to just start designing now. I'm doing curves, organic shapes related to this one, but now all the rest of them are going to be smaller. They must touch. And this one, we're just going to have things touch. And that our eye is traveling around the page if we want to go over here. The shapes are related because they're wavy organic. And I'm going to add a few up here. Um, so basically my point of interest and emphasis is here. And now I have variety with the different shapes. And I can keep adding. I don't want to fill this whole page up. I want some of this negative space over here for, um, you know, just your eye to rest. But it, your page is filled up. I could put more on this page, but I'm going to stop right now. Just don't overdo your design. I want to be able to show you how to use the paint bucket tool. And you pick your color, whatever it is, your favorite color. 
fill that in and now you need to have some repetition and balance. So now I have balance. I did an odd number that's always better than even but I went from the right to the left. Now I want to change colors. It doesn't matter what you pick right now but I'm going to repeat. Um, I want some balance here and I want one more shape that I get the odd number and it's touching. Um, now I can change to a different color and I look this over and see does it feel balanced? That's okay. Um, everything touches and touching means you're creating unity. Repeating colors you're creating unity at principle, all principles of design. Okay, now you can keep adding to this. I'm going to stop. You need to, um, can be doing more shapes, more detail. But I'm just going to stop so that you have time to perfect your design. I only give you basics and I don't expect you to just stop where I did. Because I'm not going to make you watch me perfect a design for a half an hour or more. You need to work on your own to add details, make it more complicated add more shape.